Hi, I'm Nicole Stoffman reporting to you from Karma Lane in Seton Village in the Annex in front of a very special mural. It's the brainchild of the popular singer-songwriter Scott Hellman. He's been nominated for seven Junos and his albums have earned three platinum and two gold certifications. The mural painting was live streamed over five hours in November 2019 for the release of his song Evergreen about his anxieties about climate change. Now for the video, Hellman had invited his fans to share their fears about climate change too. And he was shocked when he got hundreds of responses. So he decided to amplify their voices by the painting of this mural, which was done by street artist Kaya Buyam, AKA Milkbox. Now this mural could not have been completed without the support of five nonprofit organizations. The Sierra Club Foundation, Greenpeace Canada, Environmental Defense, We Movement, and the Laneway Project, not to mention Karma Co-op, Toronto's only food co-op established in 1972, whose east-facing wall this is. I'm telling you, this is no ordinary mural. published his fans' testimonials into the Evergreen Manuscript, which he is inviting his fans to send to their elected leaders. He also invited them to sign their names on the mural. The pop star and the Karma co-op food manager, Talia McGuire, chatted that day about how to reduce your environmental footprint. I also really view this piece as like something that is was created and motivated by young people. They don't have the, the normal or the, the ways that adults would go about changing the world. Um, so this was really an expression of their hope and, and their fears. And so I, yeah, I, I really see this as giving them a platform to be able to voice those concerns and, um, and fears and uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of how I how I look at it now. It's like the a piece a piece by the youth. Did you know there are 2,400 laneways in Toronto, about two thirds the size of High Park? Michelle Sanaya, executive director of the Laneway Project, who was a partner on the Karma Mural, has a future vision for annex laneways like this one. You know, the laneways of the annex have the very real and very achievable potential of becoming not, not a pedestrianized, but continue to be a mixed use, so still providing service access, but doing that in a more people-friendly way that sort of, you know, it provides good service access, but also is a space that's, you know, nice to walk your dog in, or that, you know, it's good to let the kids out to, like, play hockey behind the house mm -hmm. or whatever so I think that yeah especially in, in a neighborhood like the annex where there's you know so many different family structures and everything of like folks living in different sizes of units and everything I think that there's real potential to add sort of depth. Imagine a network of annex laneways that are functional little streets that can also showcase the work of artists like Scott Hellman and Kaya Buyam. Read my full story in the May issue of the Annex Gleaner. This is Nicole Stoffman reporting from Seton Village in the Annex. Thanks for watching.